Hey guys, welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today is a day of yucky rain and I thought that I would work on some of my projects that I had left kicking around that I had partially done and then just left them because either I wanted them to dry or I wanted to, um, you know, think about it more what I was going to do with them. So these are, these shutters are one of those. Let me stand them up for you. I painted the shutters, distressed them. I cut, I had a bowl, I cut the bowl in half and I put one on the bottom of each thinking I was going to make some kind of a uh, candle holder for flowers and all that stuff too. I put a little knob at the top here on each of them and um, I was gonna use that to maybe hold something to dry or make it look like it at least. But I'm not happy with the bowls. I probably set these aside to dry and whatever, but I think I wanna do a more solid color on them and then maybe sand them back to make them look more like the shutter. I'm not sure if I'm gonna to have to antique age it a little bit um, to kind of blend it in, blend the whole thing together. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to get the one coat of paint on it first, and then um, we'll see how that looks, and we'll go from there. This is uh, Waverly Antique Wax, and I put it in a cup with a little bit of water. It's probably one part wax, two parts water, I would say. Um, that's what I did here because I needed a little bit extra for project I got going on downstairs. So let's see how. Oh yeah. Definitely blends it in a little bit better. Now look at that knob. That looks like it belongs there now. It doesn't look like it was painted anything different. Just trying to get it in. So that's cool. That's kind of what I wanted to make it look just like it was supposed to be there. All right, so let's try it with the bowl if it works for that. Let's see how that works. I'm just using a paper towel. There we go, let's wipe it off. Sometimes it's a problem with projects is you don't know what paint you used, if it's uh, something that's been sitting around a long time. There's just a little bit on a paper towel and I'm just kind of wiping it along. Trying to get Trying to get that to blend in with the rest of it. I think that looks good. Just now with this chalk paint, you don't want to get whatever you're working with 
Um, you don't want to go over it too many times because the chalk paint will reactivate once it's dry and it'll start coming off, like wiping off. There. That looks like it matches a little better. I like that better. That's pretty cool. Looks distressed without actually using sandpaper at all. And it's a little darker with just using a little bit of antique wax. So I think uh, we'll let this dry and then we'll come back and we can decorate with it. And then I'll show you the next project. Okay, second project guys, real quick. This bowl was given to me and it was broken in several pieces where the handle was here. And I found most of the pieces, put them back together, but, and when I painted it, I thought, well, maybe that'll cover that up, but I don't know if you can see, but it really doesn't. Um, you can tell it's been broken and fixed. So what I wanna do is mix up some white chalk paint with some baking soda and make it a little thicker. And I'm gonna do like a dabbing or a, I think maybe they call it stippling maybe. I'm just gonna leave it. I tried to like distress it and kind of, I don't know. I was just trying to do something with it uh, cause I hated to throw it out. But um, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then just use it as a bowl for decor and stuff. Um, and But I wanna mix this up first. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. I took what was left in my my other, um, this is a new bottle of white chalk paint. And I took what was left out of there that's really thick. And I'm gonna put in some of my new stuff in here. And I'm just gonna put in some baking soda until I get the desired effect. And I'm just gonna mix it all around and see see what it looks like. Kind of looks like um, plaster stuff. And that's pretty good. It's a little bit runny. That's all right. So. What I'm gonna do, it'll be fine. So what I want, let me put this on here so that I don't get a bunch of paint everywhere. So what I'm gonna do is hopefully you're gonna see, and I'm just gonna kinda dab. And I'm hoping that'll make any bad spots on here go away. this down see if I can show you better but you can see that really well and that's the handle where that broken spot was and you can't even see it once I get around to underneath and everything I don't think you're gonna be able to see it the only way you're gonna see it is on the inside um, and I guess I could go down the inside a little ways um, but I'm figuring I'm going to have some greenery and maybe a candle or something inside here. So I don't think you're going to be able to see it, but maybe I'll go down a little ways. But anyway, let's see. I'm going to work more on this handle. This is the, you know, the problem child. And I guess you could do it as thick as you wanted to. Once it dries a little, you could go back and do another coat and really cover that up. Oh my gosh, guys, this came out really, really good. I love using this paint technique. This is the handle. You can still see it's got some imperfections, 
but it's a lot better than it was. There was holes and you could see the um, E6000, um, but there's imperfections all through this now. So it looks, it kind of blends in with the whole thing. So I did the inside and I did the underneath. So the whole thing's done. So that's really, really cool. So what I wanna do is just decorate it up a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue back here and hopefully hit that in the right spot. I'm gonna kinda go around I love this ribbon. I got this um, from Michael's this whole thing. I love it. Finished edge on it, so it kind of sticks out. All right, so there's the front. And I have a candle, it's lit, it needs a new battery, so it's not very bright. But, and then I'm just gonna take some greenery and go along the front. like these projects finished up and uh, thanks for watching have a good day please like share and subscribe and take care <laughs>